This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at radioactive decay. We'll start by looking at alpha decay. In alpha decay, the nucleus of an atom loses two protons and two neutrons, which is otherwise known as an alpha particle. Here we have a nuclear equation showing the alpha decay of uranium-238. The products are thorium-234 and an alpha particle. Because an alpha particle is composed of two protons and two neutrons, it's shown as a helium nuclei. From the nuclear equation, we can see that the mass number decreases by 4 and the atomic number decreases by 2. Next, we look at beta minus decay. In beta minus decay, a neutron is transformed into a proton and an electron is ejected from the nucleus. In this nuclear equation, we can see the beta minus decay of thorium-234. The products are protactinium-234 and an electron which is ejected from the nucleus. As we can see from the nuclear equation, the mass number does not change and the atomic number increases by 1. Next is beta positive decay. In beta positive decay, a proton is transformed into a neutron and a positron is ejected from the nucleus. In this nuclear equation, we have the beta positive decay of oxygen 15. The products are nitrogen 15 and a positron, which is a positive electron. By looking at the nuclear equation, we can see that the mass number does not change and the atomic number decreases by one. And finally, we look at gamma decay. In gamma decay, a nucleus changes from a higher energy state to a lower energy state through the emission of high energy electromagnetic radiation. In this nuclear equation, we have the gamma decay of plutonium 240. And as we can see, the mass number and atomic number do not change.